Then I was making that screenplay for the uh, magazine when Hemingway commits suicide in Ketchum, Idaho. And my first assignment was to say, 1961. 1961, uh, June 3, if I, my, my mind is correct, Hemingway commits suicide, Sunday. And then they called me, well, we, we, why don't you go to the Hemingway house and see, what, and make a reporting about Hemingway? I went there, they were expecting all the, the, the people who were with Hemingway, all the Cubans who were with Hemingway, were expecting for La Señora Mary, Miss Mary was Hemingway. He, she didn't arrive uh, at the moment. She, she, she need, he used uh, something like a month to, to arrive to Cuba. And I went there, I saw the finca, and to prepare my first reporting, I never did it. I started to read Hemingway. I know Hemingway because of the neighborhood. I live in the same building that uh, Jack Hemingway lived, the son of Hemingway. And also, my grandmother lived near the Floridita in another part of Havana, and I used to go there, and Hemingway was a very popular person. I knew Hemingway as a Cuban neighbor, not as a writer. In my, in, in my time, as a, uh, of, in my childhood, Hemingway was a, a guy, a regular Cuban, but a famous Cuban. You know Fidel, you know Batista, and you know Hemingway in, 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 in Havana. And, but I was a kid. I know Hemingway because he has accidents in Africa, because he hunts lions, because he, he uh, was a boyfriend of Ava, Ava Garner and that kind of stuff. Then I went there, I don't write anything, but I start to, to read Hemingway. And you know, if you read Hemingway when you're very young, you have something like an electroshock. And you are going to write like Hemingway all your life. 